cars in the back, let me know when you're all ready. We good? All right, we'll open it up for questions for Coach. Coach, Fabian Graham, how's he coming along in his transition from defensive back to wide receiver? He's been doing pretty good. Uh, he's working hard, you know, trying to get adjusted to the playbook and, and just being on offense, obviously, uh, being a defensive player uh, a year ago. But he's working hard every day and, and uh, trying to do all the little things right. And uh, we're excited to have him on this side of the ball. What are the fundamentals about the game that about? Because I was like, he's been back that a couple years. I was like, fuck that. Yeah, I mean, you know, he's an athlete. Uh, a lot of these guys, you know, play both ways in high school or really their entire life, you know. So, um, yes, you know, he's been in the defensive back room and backpedaling and stuff. but. You know, you got natural, good athletes like like Finley. Um, they can kind of transition over, and, and it's just like riding a bike. You know, once they get over there, they kind of get back into the groove of, of running routes. And and uh, like I said, he's he's been doing a good job adjusting. Was he sort of in your ring when he showed up, or were you having those conversations about giving him some into it? No, he wasn't actually. When I first got here, um, he was in the defensive back room. But uh, jokingly, he would kind of like tell me that, hey, I played offense in high school, and I you know I can return. So. Um, and then next thing I know, a couple weeks later, it might have been a month or so, whenever it was, um, you know, we actually really started talking about making the move and the transition. And, uh, you know, so he's been, he's been a joy to have in the room. And, and uh, you know, I'm excited uh, for what he's been doing. What's your, what's your overall assessment of where your group's at? Maybe a little bit more than halfway through. Pretty good. I mean, uh, Coach Napier just talked about it today. Um, you know, we're just trying to get better every single day. Um, and those guys have done that. They've really uh, dedicated themselves to, uh, practicing hard and trying to do things the right way, um, you know, and just trying to get better every day. You know, it's a new system for them and, and uh, you know, just trying to uh, perfect it and, and, and make their plays when they get the opportunities. And, uh, but I will say this, I mean, they're, they're supporting one another. They're flying around. They're, doing, they're trying to do all the things the right way. So I'm encouraged about that. Is there any particular area that you'd like to see cleaned up or maybe that you've been surprised by in a positive way? Uh, I just think naturally with time, you know, it'll, you know, the mistakes and uh, the indecisions or, or guys will be able to play faster throughout the system um, the longer they're in it. You know, obviously it's it's new, you know. Um, and, you know, I just think, uh, like I said earlier, they have the right mindset and, and mentality and they just kind of attack every single day and, and uh, you know, try to come out and make their plays when they get the opportunity. I've the group there in the, in the scrimmage and anything on film this? It, it was uh, some good, some bad, um, you know, and, and I think the biggest thing that we talked about is trying to be more consistent um, and just have an attention to detail for all the little things, um, you know, but that's going to probably be uh, most games. You know, if you have a growth mindset and growth mentality, you're always trying to find a way to get better. And, uh, you know, we, we made some plays in the scrimmage and, and there were some that we left out there. And, uh, you know, we got to just continue to just work and, and uh, you know, try to get better one day at a time. More. Any thoughts on him? Or what have you seen out of him in camp? I know he had a little slow start and been back, but what have you seen out of him and what's your message to him? Yeah, he's been, he's been doing awesome the last couple of days, um, you know, making his plays. And um, obviously, you know, he's a, a very uh, smart player. He works very hard. You know, he's very well respected by his teammates. Um, it's great to get him back out there. And, and, and uh, you know, I'm excited for, for him and, and uh, you know, everything he is. But, you know, he's, he's, he's another one that just kind of, comes out here every single day and he he's excited to be out here he loves to play football and and uh you know we're excited to have him out there you know going what's your approach with this route running with these guys i mean how do you go about working on it the film because yeah. it's, so, it's so critical i mean, yeah. I mean guy, it's easy just to run around and catch passes but no you know, it really be refined yeah no doubt i mean you got to be really disciplined and detailed at the top of the route probably especially um you know, there's little things that we do to work on it, and, and, and really it's about uh, an urgency at the top of the route and, and, and a mindset and, and, you know, being physical and being uh, technical with your feet and your hands. And, and uh, you know, so those guys are, are doing a great job. You know, we're working on little things daily, and, um, you know, at the end of the day, um, we're just trying to prepare ourselves to, you know, be the best receivers we can be individually and, and, and make our plays when the ball comes. Are some guys standing out in the rears? Yeah, I think uh, honestly, I think everybody's kind of had their moments. If I'm being honest, um, you know, and, and or a day or you know a period in practice, and and uh, I think that's the encouraging thing is that they're being really receptive to the coaching and and you know from the top down, you know, whether it's the things that Coach Napier is stressing or or things that Coach Sale stressed as an offense. 
um, or just things that we learn, you know, or have in our meeting. You know, they're just taking, you know, attention to detail in the coaching and, and they're just trying to be better. But I think everybody's kind of had their moments, you know, here and there. And uh, that's very encouraging to see. How challenging is it being a receiver in this league? Uh, Easy yeah, I mean, you know, it's not a secret that um, it's one of the best conferences, if not the best conference in college football, right? So, um, but at the end of the day, you know, we go against uh, the best every every single day, you know, in our DBs, and and uh, I think that's the great thing about being here is that you know we're we're facing that every single day. So when we get ready for Saturday, um, we've already been preparing at the high level. Is there a certain philosophy as far as looking? group of individuals to play during a particular game or you just let them kind of earn their reps based on what you see in practice or are you looking for a set group that you would like to play on a week, week in, week out? Yeah, um, I think, you know, it's about uh, performing daily, um, coming out here and being consistent, um, executing and making plays ultimately, right? So at the end of the day, you know, we want to we want to play and rotate a lot of guys. Um, you know, we're encouraged by the room and, and we feel like we have a good amount of guys that can go out there and contribute. So at the end of the day, you know, however we, uh, we roll it out there, um, it's really based on how they perform and in practices and scrimmage and, and consistently and making sure they're doing the things right on and off the field. So, um, but you know, we'll, we'll see. And, you know, at the end of the day, we don't, we, we don't play for another few months. So we'll figure that all out later. What's the transition been like for you, just coming from the West Coast all the way over here? Uh, I mean, honestly, it's, it's it's football, you know, and and you know, as a as a former player, you know, you kind of you have to move and go different places and play at different places, and you know, so at the end of the day, you know, you you have a job to do, and and this is football. We love it, you know what I mean. So, you know, I love being out here every single day, um, you know, and it, it's it's fun, and we're with a great group of coaches and, and players and, and staff, and just everybody in the organization, you know what I mean? So um, it's just been fun every single day, and, and I'm excited about, you know, things to come. You guys signed a couple guys from the West Coast in the last class. How much, you know, impact did you have there with just your connections? We did, man. I'm, and I'm excited for those two guys to, to get here. And, and uh, you know, I had a previous relationship with, with Arliss Boardingham, obviously, and, and um, you know, got to kind of see him uh, develop and play. Um, and was excited to, to get him out here to kind of see what the University of Florida has to offer. Um, great family, um, you know, and I think, you know, he has a unique skill set, and, and um, you know, we're excited about him and, and big Ann.